NASA says it's made a major discovery tonight, confirming the existence of a planet which is strikingly similar to our own. Well, this is it. It's called Kepler 22b, and many of its characteristics are so like ours that scientists are calling it Earth's twin. Well, Paul Harrison is here to tell us more. A bit too far to go if you fancy relocating, Paul, but conditions sound okay. Yeah, if you fancy uh, uh, getting onto your uh, spacecraft and getting there, it's going to take uh, 600 light years to get there. Now, that's assuming you travel at six, uh, sorry, assuming you're traveling at the speed of light, that's 600 years, so you're going to need the best part of a millennium or more to get there. It's two and a half times the size. Uh, of Earth, and as you say, the temperature's not bad at all, 22 degrees, a bit like the south of France in spring, if you fancy that. Uh, but as I say, it's going to take a long time to get there. Uh, the astronomer's not sure if it's made of uh, rock, uh, gas, or liquid, or what is the, the greater consistency of that planet. Uh, let's just take a look at the second picture that we've got uh, for you. Uh, and you can see uh, from these two solar systems, the bottom one is ours, and you can see Earth, the uh, third planet on the bottom right-hand corner. You can see how much uh, smaller it is uh, than Kepler-22. Uh, it doesn't exactly trip off the tongue, but it's called that because uh, uh, that's the name of the telescope that discovered it. Um, but you can see from the top solar system that it is much closer to its sun. You would therefore think it would be much, much hotter. But in fact, its own sun uh, emits less light, so hence the decent temperatures. And let's just move on to another uh, still, and this uh, one will show uh, just how they dis discovered it in the first place. They search out the uh, stars, and when they see a black silhouette of a planet passing in front, that's how they were able to detect it. They waited until it did it three times to confirm it. So initially, it was a candidate planet, and then eventually they confirmed it. But uh, the, the, the bottom line uh, is I think there will probably be more to come. So watch this space. Excuse the pun. Oh, Paul, thanks very much indeed.